The defamation lawsuit filed against Toke Makinwa by her ex-husband, Maje Aida, has finally come to an end after three years as the court um, awards mm -hmm. One million naira worth of damages to Maji Aida. Justice Ogun Jobi of the Lagos State High Court ruled on the case on Thursday, November 12, stating that after careful consideration of the evidence before the court, only the contents of page 54, line 11 to 16, and page 83, um, line 1 of Toke Makinwa's book qualified as defamation of character. The court awarded damages worth um, of 500,000 naira each to be paid to any charity organization of the claimant's choice. In addition, the court gave Toke Makenwa and her publisher 30 days to delete the said defamatory words from unsold mm. copies of the book in their custody. Yeah. I like this. I like this because um, I'm not liking it because it's from, I like the fact that the law is beginning to take its course and it's taking it, um, how do I put it now? Appropriately, in the sense that um, this guy was asking for a hundred million, saying that he wanted the whole book given to him. And if, in fact, the ones they've sold, they should get it back and it should be damaged. That was what he was asking for initially. Yeah, he was but, just asking for hundred million in damages. And, you know, um, he said there should retraction. be ret retraction and they should yeah. be destroyed, that the book should be destroyed, that it needs to be destroyed. So he was asking for it, the book to be returned from the publisher. So even the ones that has been sold, get it back. Everything mm -hmm. needs to be destroyed. You can't put a book like that out there because the familiar to me right and then they came back to say that look it's just page 54 line 11 to 16 you know gave you the exact numbers that they considered defamatory and I think that's really um, applaudable and I think that's good um, but at the end of the day too 1 million naira damages it just makes me feel I don't okay it's I don't, not a big difference, I, don't yeah. I don't want to right. touch I really don't want to touch any because it's Why? quite sensitive uh, for me yeah. I feel like the I feel like I feel like <laughs> If you're alive. <laughs> the um, one million uh, damages, I don't feel like it's enough, personally. Um, so this is, I don't need anybody to come and tell me women supporting women or women not supporting women. I read the book and I just think that a lot of things happen and we share our stories from our own perspective, yeah? And and Toke Makewa's story is one side of the story. Mm. As much as I understand her pain, how she feels, Maji as well has his own side of the story. He would, If he wants to tell his story, he would definitely tell us her shortcomings as well, where he felt she could have done better or been there for him better, or whatever it is his story is going to be, I don't know. But I feel like we all have our stories at the end of the day, and there's something they call the truth at the, uh, finally, finally, yeah. So um, I wasn't very comfortable with the way he was um portrayed in the book at some point um it wasn't like this person took your life yeah. or battered you or something i know that emotional um trauma is a big deal as well not being able to love someone the way you're supposed to love them is a huge deal but i don't want to believe that that was his intention from day one or that she can be absorbed of all her own um, faults as well because she's human we are human I'm, I'm not perfect no one is perfect so she cannot claim to be perfect mm. um so but then it depends on how much the book made as well i don't know we know how we know have inflated prices as mm. well in, in the in terms no, of packaging and, and they buy their own books I, I I don't know how much she made. She hasn't come out to declare that. So it could also be that awarding that one millionaire is based on how much the book has actually really made. Now compared to how many lines in the book affects um, this person in question. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm happy for Maje. It, it, it just shows that he, even if what he was asking for, like he said, could be a bit ridiculous, it just means that he had a good case mm -hmm. and he was right to say, you defamed my character. Um, so it's now left for people to decide how much of a defamation um, in the or how much of defamation in the book they want to still hold on to because it's easy for bad news to go far and it's bad things to spread. But once it comes to trying to correct it, it's not the same thing. So I'm really putting myself in the shoes of both of them to say it has ended. Finally, I guess congratulations. Yeah. I I hope they can find a common ground. And I like that the money is going to the charity, charity organization. Yeah. So yeah. Do you think that? Don't you think that she had the right, though, to be as expressive as she wanted to be in her book? Because I understand that his ego might have been bruised. I haven't read the book, let me be honest, so I don't know to what extent she really defamed him and everything. But in a book that she's talking about different aspects of her life and things like that, doesn't she have the right to be 
as expressive as she wants to be, even if it may or may not bruise his yeah. ego. I, I, the, the, she has the rights, which is why it is only how many lines that um, the court is saying you shouldn't have said something like this. It was. <laughs> yeah, so if book. if the court can say these lines, mm -hmm. which are no more than like, yeah, it was like 11 I think like five, or something if you want like to that. count them all together, mm -hmm. right? Um, then she, it means that the court agrees that she has the right to express herself the way she wants to. So who are we to say she doesn't she have the right the to mm, say, which is like, you know, know so far. Um, like I said, I'm so happy it was for a good both case. of them. Yeah. yeah, I think it was a good case and I, I, I think it was fair. Mm -mm. Fantastic. It was, it, it was okay. It was okay. <laughs>